Good afternoon and welcome back to Turbo Tortoise Tech. In this review, I'm going to be having a look at the HTC Vive Focus Plus, doing a little unboxing for you, showing what's in the box and all of the good things you can do outside the box. Alrighty, so we have the Vive Focus Plus next to me here, and it's pretty legit, I'm not gonna lie. This is an enterprise focused item, so it is going to appeal more to people that want to do like 3D modeling on the go and virtual meetings and that sort of stuff, because it is a on the go kind of product. There aren't any base stations that come with this. Everything is triangulated from the two cameras on the front of the headset, like eyes, and it sort of does make you look like a weird little robot with two BDRs sticking out the front, <laughs> which is pretty funny. <laughs> when you watch some footage back of it, you see that it's, it's, it's pretty funny. But there are some significant improvements compared to the original Vive and setup. One of them chiefly being the really, really nice pad that they've put on the inside here. It makes, well, quite a lot of difference in comfort when you are wearing the headset. It does make it quite nice, actually. Then you've got the headband that sits over the top. This is just two straps of Velcro like that. You sit over the top of your head and you can make it then comfortable. And then there's the back strap, which fastens in and out. And the overall effect of putting on your head is such that it sits quite nicely and comfortably on side the head, well, on top of the head or on the face, as it were. Like I said, look, look, I'm, I'm no robot dude, but it's it's comfy. It's very, very comfy. Much, much better than it was previously. Then on the bottom there is a focus key. So if you are a bit more like eyes together sort of person, then you can adjust it there. My head is extremely wide, so and well large. So yeah, you can you can be rest assured that even if you are a big headed person, it's not gonna be a problem fitting it on your head. So if you do have a big head and a lot of these things don't fit you. This actually fit me with some room to spare, which is pretty, pretty nice. Then inside the package, it does come with two wands now. The original edition only had one basic sort of wand. These are much, much, much nicer than those. And then they do have accelerometers and really, really accurate tracking. It did feel more or less like the normal Vive experience that I was used to, especially where the ones were considered. I played some 3D bowling and a couple other games and it was pretty cool actually um, to not have to set up any base stations. The other part of it, oh, well, Actually, there's two of these just before I forget. <laughs> the other thing that they do package with it is the charger, the adapter, which is a hard power charger. Um, it can put as much as 15 watts out through this little charger. So it is going to fast charge your headset. And then they do include it with a really nice rubberized USB type C cable to be able to do that. But let's get back to what it's like to use. And I had a little tour around my house and was able to use it in various places. And you can use this thing anywhere. And I mean like literally anywhere. Now, like, the, the reason that you can do this is because the Vive itself has an onboard operating system functionality SD card reader setup. So you can deploy stuff wirelessly to the headset. You can also stream to the headset from your computer through the 5G network, but on, on the actual headset itself, you can store programs and stuff on the SD card. So we've put in, well, a, a super powerful V30 certified micro SD from our boys Cliff, and it works, well, pretty seamlessly, I must be honest. Boot up is dealt with in about 15-ish seconds, and you're back inside the virtual world. Now the combined resolution of here is 20, 2880 by 1600, which is pretty impressive, I must say. It does give quite a nice fluid feeling. It's not what I would call 4K Ultra HD, but for a completely wireless system that weighs almost nothing, it's absolutely fantastic. Now this isn't, of course, 
with a, a small price attached to it, but can you put a price on a high-end VR environment with really good controls, built-in speakers as well, like everything you need is on the headset, everything you need is, comes in the package, and then when you're done with it, you can pop it in a backpack and take it with you. That's the main thing, is the lack of base stations with this technology means that you can, like I've dem previously demonstrated, Put it on and just use it wherever you want to. So for our client demos, showing them building plans, medical stuff, in a, in a corporate environment or enterprise environment, this is, this is a gold mine uh, sitting here waiting to happen pretty much. Because imagine for instance you build a, you have a high, a high scraper building and you're trying to show people the layout in the 3D format, what if they could just walk through that that actual 3D? And you can, you can. There's a VR AutoCAD that is supported. You can then walk through your drawings and stuff, which is just, it's just mad. So what I'm gonna do though, for the next portion of content around this awesome little headset is I'm going to set it up on my PC and stream some games to the headset and record so you can see the motion and that sort of stuff. But for this unboxing, that is all we will have time for right now. So stay safe, hope you guys keep well, and I'll see you on the flip side.